from now on is the starting point and we will absolutely focus on our strengths and, and the qualities that we absolutely have and we will build a team that nobody wants to play against. This is the, this is the, this is the challenge. And, uh... Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, and you are all set. Thank you so much for helping the channel and welcome to the family. In this video, we're going to discuss about our next target. And it looks like uh, we have a, a lot of contradicting information at the moment. One minute, you will see Chelsea back again for Kunde. The next minute, they're going to sign... Uh, Kimpembe instead and Kunde apparently getting closer to Barcelona. So you don't know really what to believe and who's to blame for all the fiasco behind uh, the Kunde issue really because this one is just tiring. It's been dragging for a couple of years now and I have enough. I don't know about you but I'm kind of tired of this Kunde all the time. Let's get it done or just abandon it and then let's move to the next target because it's just getting ridiculous. So the latest here telling us that Chelsea are now reportedly close to securing the signing of Gilles Kunde. Tuchel's new defense is almost completed. Hmm. Very, very interesting indeed. The same can be said here from um, from other sources Phillips and Football London and all the, all the boys over there they say at the moment it's a poker game okay <laughs> to sign Gilles Kunde an update on Gilles Kunde situation and some background on the entire process is now available on that link so man let me know in the comment do you really think that chelsea can get this brother here kunde are you confident about kunde because we don't know people some people are getting on thomas tuko for apparently not buying him on time and taking time and dragging and wanting aki and aki is out of the out of the equation now and we go back to kunde what's going on here if anybody knows better than us please share let us know if this is going to happen or not because we are very very tired okay look at this many many sources jill kunde is very close to being transferred to chelsea except for a radial change the english club hopes that uh, the agreement will be closed next week so next week it's on monday tomorrow in my location but it could be already today monday in your location so we're talking about hours here we're talking about days no more weeks or no more waiting and waiting so Xavi, who is barcelona's manager spoke with the player and convinced him to go to barcelona but chelsea bit more strongly so why do we have to wait for competition all the time i think we had all the time in the world to secure this brother before even barcelona got involved last season the last minute we were penny pinching and waiting and waiting and we missed out on him I'm not really angry about it because we ended up by uh, having Ch Trevor Chaluba that we discovered that he's good and he did the job. But listen, if you got to get the job, get it done. Now, we've been waiting and waiting. Apparently, Thomas Tuko changed his mind and switched to delete and delete it didn't work out and then we switched to Kulibali, and then after Kulibali was Aki almost 90 percent done and the last minute city refused to sell him so this is uh, very complicated for us it's been very complicated so thomas tuko apparently is going for his number third choice okay 
because on the list you're gonna have choices and you're not gonna get all of them and then you have to make to you have to uh move to your next target that is what we are doing right now but just as i am recording this video i saw fabrizio romano made a video talking about kunde and said barcelona are pushing very very hard and he's the priority right now like they secured Lewandowski they secured uh Rafinha everybody that they wanted they are already there now it's time to go and close the shop get the defender and Kunde apparently prefers to go to Barcelona instead of Chelsea Football Club so don't just jump to conclusion and start blaming the manager or the club this is a poker game here okay Kunde's camp playing games Chelsea playing games Barcelona playing games you don't really know who to blame let's now move to Maestro Kimpembe Okay, so Maitre Kim, uh, Kim Pembe, we call him in French Kim, okay, or Maestro uh, Presco. Presco or Kim are the nickname that we call Kim Pembe back home. So if you if you hear me talking about Presco, it's Pres, uh, Presnel, so we call P Presco. And Kim Pembe is kind of too long, so we cut it like Kim. So if I, if I refer to Kim or Presco, that is Kim. Kimpembe, World Cup winner. It looks like he's getting closer and closer to Chelsea Football Club. This brother won the World Cup. That's what people forget, you know, or they tend to forget that this is a World Cup winner brother here. Well, he has some lack of concentration and some issues with his defending and, you know, but overall, very good attitude, very good work rate and uh, we might have somebody in our hand who knows paris saint germain apparently are asking between 60 to 70 million chelsea are willing to pay only like 40 million or something like that so let's wait and see this is according to fabrizio romano chelsea and psg are in direct talks for Kimpembe deal initial request around 60 to 65 million but Chelsea are prepared to submit 45 to 50 million proposal work in progress PSG consider Kimpembe part of uh, the project but he can leave in case of good proposal you see so it's in our hands if we go there with the money we can get him like in no time pay the money they are asking for they want more than 60 million we can find a common ground around 45 to 50 million and like let, let's just make a deal and bring kim home and let uh, start preparing the season because you don't want to make a uh, a deal the last minute as per usual at Chelsea Football Club because we end up by players who didn't really have any precision with the team so it's time man make a decision right now and look Fabrizio Romano is adding here that PSG have Gonzalo Ignacio as one of the options in their list in case Kimpembe leaves. He's really appreciated by Luis Campos. Negotiations on between Chelsea and PSG for Kimpembe. Chelsea have reactivated contact for Kunde. Barcelona want to be fast. Wow. So we are in the in the very big war here between us and Barcelona and Kunde's camp and and the next thing you know we signed both of them <laughs> both brothers kimpembe and kunde why not bring them home man listen people that's it for now let me know what you think about uh, our defense it's it's looking scary though if we manage to get both of them a chelsea football club that is going to be the wall <laughs> that is going to be stronger than the wall of china the wall of Dan donald trump this is going to be the wall of thomas tuko 
Let's keep the conversation going, my friend. Blessings.